Hello there. In today's video, I am gonna show you how to grow any kind of plant very fast. Sometimes it happens we cannot take care of them. All the animals have different food in the world. The water of the plant is like that. But due to our negligence, we cannot properly feed the plant. The plants will grow very easily through this device. There is no point of thinking that you can take care of the plant properly. As a result, the plant will grow very soon. There is no concern at all. With this device, you can take care of the plant properly or you can provide the food properly. Even you can also see the soil moisture properly. Let's find out how it works. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. This is the largest manufacturer company in China. They provide very high quality PCB at very low price. Just upload your garbage file to get 10 amazing PCB in $2. Even they also drop their price. You can get up to 30% off PCBs and 20% off stencil. Make sure to visit their website. This is soil measured sensor, which is available to test soil moisture. And instead of this, you can use any copper plate. With this sensor, you can get a board in which LM393 dual channel op amp IC was used. This board has two input and outputs. This two pin is for sensor. In the remaining four pin, those two are 5 volt power input and the other two are analog and digital outputs. I set my power supply in 5 volt. And I give power in this board. If I increase the capacitance of the sensor, as a result, I can see some voltage in output. The capacitance will be depend on voltage more or less. Other hand, you can see a potentiometer in this board, which is set IC's reference volt. And by trimming it, you can increase and decrease capacitance of the sensor. On the other hand, you need 16 to 2 liquid crystal display, through which you will get all the notification. Once I see how it works, I have used I2C module here. As a result, the LCD connection becomes very easy. It's LCD's backlight jumper. And on the other hand, you can see 4 pin here. Among them are two positive and negative and other two is SCL and HDA. And you can see a potentiometer in this board. This potentiometer is for LCD's contrast adjustment. You definitely need a DC motor for water pumping. Arduino Nano is handling all this process and you can say it the brain of this whole process. I will give a link to purchase all the component inside the description and you can found code and diagram link in the description. Ok, let's check out how it works. At first I mount this Arduino Nano on this breadboard and also I mount two push button switches for set soil moisture. These two switches are connected with Arduino Nano Digital 3 and Digital 4 pin. And those both switches are common is positive. And don't forget to attach pull down register with ground. And I connected with LCDs positive and negative. And two other I connected analog 4 and analog 5. Now time for sensor connection. Definitely you need to supply power on this op amp board. And this sensor's output pin is connected with Arduino's analog 0 pin. Almost done is my circuit, but here is some problem with this DC motor. I attached this plastic pipe with this 12 volt DC pump. And I hope you hear some sound from this motor. That means the motor now running very well. I take two pot and fill it some water. And put two pipe in the pot. I set my power supply in 5 volt. And I run the pump with 5 volt. It was seen the motor is running very slow. As a result, water is rising very slowly. But if I use 12 volt instead of 5 volt, then this motor is working very well. My plant is very small, so I will use 5 volt for the smooth flow of water. If you had a big size plant, then you can use 12 volts. For that reason, you need to operate this motor at 12 volts. But our whole system is working only 5 volt. That's why I am using here in a MOSFET for 12V power source. The MOSFET is used as a switch. Don't forget to attach 100 nanofarad capacitor to avoid motor coil inductance. 
Arduino Digital 2 pin is fully managed by it. Everything has been assembled nicely. Now it's time to check. I connect USB cable with Arduino Nano and other end to my computer. First you need Liquid Crystal Display Library file. So I download it from GitHub. And copy this library file and this file paste in my computer's Arduino program file. And now time to coding. You can download this code from my video's description. Now I compile this code and also I send it to my Arduino Nano. After first checking, you can see the display is working very well. First you can see how much moisture is in the soil. The next one is set moisture. For example, I set my moisture to be 1 and you can see here the moisture is very high. So pump is automatically turned on to bring it to the right moisture. I hope you understand everything correctly. I put the sensor in this pot soil. I set the moisture in 40 and as a result whenever the moisture rise below 40, the pump will start immediately. As a result the plant will properly treat it. You can use this device in your flower garden and it is very good for indoor plants. I have described a lot more details about this on my web page and you will find everything there. And now it looks very nice to see it. I hope guys you will like this video. This video is very useful. So you can share this video with your friends. If you like this video then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated.